So we have this Sleeker ECU from a UK spec Sleeker uh, from a scrapyard, and we don't have the keys to go with it, but we're going to put it in our 2ZZ converted, converted MR2. Uh, but everyone bangs on about this having an immobilizer problem, but there are ways to solve it. But let's show you what happens when you plug it in. Right, so the ECU is all plugged in, um, and now we'll put our key in the ignition. Bit of our Kelly. Right, so the key's in the ignition. Now when we turn it on, the immobiliser light is still flashing. Yeah. So that means it won't start. It would help if my battery was a bit better. But that isn't going to go right now. Right then, so we'll open the ECU up. Breakers have put paint in the screws for security. Right, so if we take the board out, right then. So On this PCB, there is a little chip here. Can you see it? That stores all of your key programming information. Yeah? What is it? A 93C56. So that stores the key IDs. So we'll have a little look at that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to unsolder this. Yeah, put some flux on it. Then we'll warm it up. And when you get it just warm enough, the solder goes soft, and you can just literally pop it off like that. Right, so now we've unsoldered the chip, all we do is put it in our little reader device, and then we hit read, and then once we've read it, then the data is loaded in. Uh, so the data off that chip is in here, and these are the keys. So there's like one key there, there's another key there, another key there but quite simply if you get this Corolla Virgin file which I've got here that just looks like this focus there you go it hasn't got any keys wrote to it so if we write that back to the back to the EEPROM back to the little chip and then we'll solder it back on and then we'll go and give it a start and see what happens now we've wrote the data to the chip we can uh, solder it back on that's what we're going to solder on, and again, we'll put a bit of flux on it. You ready? Just warm it up a bit. There we go, and the dot goes towards the, the cup because that denominates the top of the IC, and that little dot that's in it is pin one. So we'll go and give that a whirl and see what happens. So I'll plug the ECU in with the uh, rewrote data, and the car should now start. So here's the last part of the process. We've got our three keys, and we're going to sync them up to this virginized ECU. So all we do is put the first key in, and you'll notice that the light stays on. Okay? We'll take that key out, 
and then we'll put our next key in and it went out and it goes back on again right so we'll take that key out and then we'll put our next key in and it goes out and it comes back on again right so that should be all three keys programmed so we take that key back out and we put our first key back in and it flashes once quickly to say that it's finished the sequence now if we turn the ignition on the lights off so that key stops the car and the immobiliser light comes back on to say we're immobilised and we do it again so that key stops the car and that one so there we go so we've got three MR2 spider keys MR2 roadster keys um, and they're now starting up the 2ZZ ECU so you don't need a JDM ECU you don't need some fudgery all you need to do is virginize the ECU with the file on the EEPROM and then it will just start the car enjoy